Hello, my name is Anthony Cortez and I am part of the Graduate Campus Tech Support Group at Pepperdine University. Welcome to this presentation on Adobe Connect. This presentation is intended to give you an overview on Adobe Connect so that you can experience and become familiar on how Adobe Connect looks and feels, but ultimately how it works. Now, let's begin. Adobe Connect is a web conference tool from Adobe that allows for live virtual meetings, whether it is large webinars with one presenter and hundreds of participants, smaller team meetings, or live training sessions. Adobe Connect is based on Adobe Flash, so it is important to keep Adobe Flash updated on your computer, which you can do by visiting browsercheck.pepperdine.edu or by going to Adobe's website. It is best to use a headset during your meetings so that your mic does not pick up what is coming out of your speakers. Users do not have to install any special software, but note that the Adobe Connect plugin will need to be downloaded and installed onto your browser. This is done when you launch your first meeting. Adobe Connect works with a variety of browsers, but Pepperdine strongly suggests using Firefox. Now, this is the meeting room. The meeting room is made up of a number of pods. Hosts are the only ones who have control of which pods will be visible, available, and where they will be on the layout. There are three different layouts that you may experience. Currently, we are on the sharing layout, but you may see the discussion layout or the collaboration layout. Let's move back to the sharing layout and look at some of the pods. So here is the video pod. The video pod is used to share live video like your webcam, for example. If you are made a presenter, then there are two ways to start your webcam. You can simply click on Start My Webcam on the video pod. Or you can also start your webcam by going to the webcam button and selecting this down arrow and then selecting Start My Webcam. Or you can simply click on Start My Webcam. The webcam pod will give you a brief preview. And if you like what you see, go ahead and click Start Sharing. For now, we're gonna stop this and move on to the other pods. The attendees pod is directly underneath the video pod. Participants are grouped by which role they have in the meeting. Only hosts can change the role of a participant. Participants cannot control the room, but they can interact with pods like chat and polls. Presenters do have a bit more power they can share their screen, upload documents, but still they cannot change or the look or feel of the room. Host has the ability to change layouts, add or remove pods, and the power to change the rules of everyone in the room. There are breakout rooms. These are smaller subset of rooms to use during the meeting. The host has the ability to auto-distribute everyone or manually put everyone in breakout rooms and to start the breakouts. The status view button shows feedback from participants to the presenters and host. Now the chat pod is considered unmoderated, meaning if you chat in here, everyone will see it. Adobe did grasp the, contact, the concept of private chat, which you can enable by simply hovering over someone's name and selecting start private chat. After that, you will see this pad, this, this tab underneath and then you can privately chat with that individual. All right, let's take a look at the Q&A pod. This is the Q&A pod. It is very similar to chat, but it is referred to as moderated chat. The host has a presenter and participant view and can respond to you individually or publicly. I'm gonna go ahead and hide this pod and move on to the notes pod. The note pod allows you to take notes and save them for later use. They are also consistent, so you can take one note from one meeting to another. It is in rich text format, so you can add bullet points. You can make words in bold, italic, or underlined and the use of many colors. You can export these notes as well by email or save them as a rich text file, which you can open in any, any word processor. 
I'm going to go ahead and hide this now. The share pod. This is the share pod directly here, the biggest one that you can see. The share pod is considered one of the most important of all. This is where you will view all of the shared content. As a student, you will most likely view what the host and presenter um, or your professor is sharing. But let's say you need to present, then you will see the share my screen button in the middle. If you click the down arrow, it will bring down a menu allowing you to share your screen, your document, or your desktop, or your whiteboard. Let's say you want to share a document. It will bring up a window allowing you to view your share history, uploaded, file, uploaded files, and others. Let's say you want to share a file on your desktop. Go to the bottom left and click on Browse My Computer. Another window will pop up so you can navigate to where that document is on your hard drive. Adobe Connect supports a number of files like JPEGs for pictures, PowerPoints, and even Flash videos. Now, let's go to the meeting button up on the top left. Here you can access the audio setup wizard, which I will recommend you use before the actual meeting starts. That's why it's important to get there 10 to 15 minutes before your meeting. This will configure your microphone and speakers for use in the meeting. Make sure that you connect your headset or earbuds that you will be using before you go through the uh, setup wizard. After you do that, you will go through a series of steps that will configure your microphone and speakers. If you are having any issues during this process, Pepperdine University does offer a 24-7, 365 days a year help desk, which you can contact at 1-866-767-8623. That is it for this presentation. I wish you a great time and experience at Pepperdine University.